It's that lovely and romantic time of year once again. I transformed cheddar cheese into a thick, saucy goodness, and this year is no different. Join me as I turn cheddar cheese into a soup. Now, with any soup, it begins in a pot. I mean, who's heard anything about a soup being made in a straight-sided saute pan? Shut up! Anyway, put this over medium heat. As that heats up, let's toss in half a stick or four tablespoons of unsalted butter. And once the butter melts, let's add one cup each of diced carrots, onions, and celery. This is much better known as a mirepoix. Except it's spelt like this. Damn it, why can't French be pronounced the way it looks? Merde. Now, to help flavor everything and drop the moisture, let's season everything with a teaspoon and a half of salt. Let's cook until everything softens slightly. Okay, and oh dear God, I'm turning into Tucker Carlson. So after that red pill moment, let's return our attention back to the soup. Let's add four tablespoons of flour. We're making something called a roux. Once again, French is doing its weird bull. There's already butter in here, so don't worry. Okay, once the flour has been absorbed, let's add in four cloves of garlic minced. We always add the garlic in last because A, I like that strong, sharp punch of the garlic, and B, if we added it in too early, we run the risk of overcooking it and turning it bitter. All right, let's turn the heat down to low. And let us deglaze with two cups of beer. Oh, leftover beer. Oh, what was me, what to do with it? And follow that up with three cups of chicken stock. All right, let's bring this to a boil. Excuse me, if you're watching this without crediting me, your mom's a willy gobbler. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, turn this heat to high. Okay, once this comes to a boil, drop the heat down to medium low. Toss in one bay leaf. Cover it with a lid. Oh, no, 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 no. Cover it with the correct lid. And let that simmer for 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes are up and... Oh man, that smells so good and I didn't even add the cheese yet. Okay, first thing first, let's fish out our spent bay leaf. Then let's add two thirds a cup of heavy cream. Then take an immersion blender, uh, purchase link in the description, and blitz it smooth. All right, it's thin, but one problem I noticed that a little too thick, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more chicken broth. Next, let's slowly whisk in a cup and a half of sharp cheddar cheese. I say slowly because if we add too much, it's going to all melt together and you're gonna end up with a lumpy, inconsistent sauce. So, one handful at a time. Okay, once you know for sure the batch of cheese is melted and incorporated in, add the next batch. And for a bit more depth of flavor, uh, let's add a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. All right, let's go in for a taste test. Need salt, pepper, and a couple of dashes of hot sauce. Garnish with some bacon bits and slurp away. Oh man, I love cheddar so much. I'd move to Wisconsin if it wasn't a freezing hellhole for half the year. Also, Midwesterners idea of Mexican food is a bigger middle finger than Trump's border wall. I'll give you a moment to wipe the tears from your face.
This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Friday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and support me on Patreon. <clears throat> and also, my no crediting rant also extends to other streamers. I'm looking at you, Hassan and Pokimane. <laughs>